Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about an often discussed product. This is the ACS Rocker Extension product. It's the short version, not any of the long ones that they have. I kind of like this the best because the long ones kind of give me the impression of a running board and I, I like them. I like the ones with the canards in the back. Um, it looked kind of cool, but eh, I just didn't want it for my car. So I'm just going to be dealing with the short, the short guys here. You know, it's the same thing, I guess, as you can order as an option. On the Corvette, only it's in that flat black finish. This is carbon flash. It looks really nice. Matches up with uh, the other accents that are on the car. So, what we have is we have double-sided tape that we're going to peel off once we get it on. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes on the bottom. These holes are where the pop rivets are going to go. So, first thing we're going to do is clean the spear, make sure it's nice and squeaky clean. The waxes are off. Everything uh, is nice and clean with it. Um, another product we're going to discuss is the front splitter. I'm not going to take much time with it. It's so easy. I opted for the ACS composite, the 1VM splitter. Um, there's like 21 screws um, that you got to drop off, but it's such an easy replacement. It takes about 10 minutes. Pop up the uh, 1VM splitter, put the screws all back in. Everything lines up perfectly. Makes a huge difference in the appearance of the front of the car. We're also going to take a look at a spoiler that I've had for quite a while and I'm still on the fence about putting it on. And also, what before I forget, rock guards. You know, these splash guard rock guards. You got, you got to put them on your car if you don't have them. I'll, and I'll show you why. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is make sure that we've cleaned up the sphere as good as we can. Get all the dirt. Get the waxes off. Make sure we're going to have a good adhesion property here with the double-sided tape. I've already pre-cleaned this, so I'm just doing a final wipe to show you. First thing we're going to do is pull the little tabs from the uh, two-sided tape out as we kind of pressure fit the rocker in first over the spear. And we've got three places front, and then two in the back, one that will go along the side, and one that will pull down through the spear this way. I don't know if you can see it. So then, we just want to make sure our pressure fit is good, that we have no gaps between the yellow and the black. Both ways. Once we're sure we have a good fit, then we're going to mark with the drill motor. Underneath, there's like six holes for rivets. We're going to keep pressure on and put our first rivet in just so we're holding this thing in place. Okay, so we'll take our drill motor with a 3 16th inch bit and pop a hole up through the center, about the center of this uh, rocker, maintaining pressure on it. And then we're going to put our first pop rivet in just to hold it in place. It's a pop rivet gun with a rivet in it. I hope it goes in all right.
That worked out pretty good. A couple of squeezes on this thing and broke right off. So we got our first rivet in there. Now I'm going to keep pressure on and try to work the uh, covering of the double sided tape off without breaking it. I'll give it some pressure, make sure she sets. Pull the last piece down. With the pressure, not too bad. It's up nice and snug, nice and tight, no gaps. And now I'll go under. And complete the uh, rivet installation. Well I had it kind of easy drilling and uh, putting the pop rivets in for the, for the uh, rocker extension because I just utilized the uh, turntable for the back wheels and I had a wood block and an odd skid mat, non-skid mat for the front wheel and just drove it up on onto that and I had plenty of clearance especially when I raised the front lift so I could easily get a right angle drill and the rivet gun underneath there. Okay, so if there's one piece that you should replace on your car, it's these so-called rock guards, splash guards, whatever you want to call them. They go inside the uh, wheel well. They just uh, are in with one screw in the bottom um, down low here. Take that out and there's like four snaps there. I was able to reach in and just pop it with my fingers. If they're too tough then you can take a little plastic tool and kind of pry it out. But these things set in and I and they're even with the body line here of the um, the wheel well, it's all, so it doesn't offer any protection. The tire is sort of almost sticking out past the body line and it can throw all those stones, pick up all that stuff. With these new ones, I got these from Corvette Mods. Uh, you can get them from the Extreme Store. They stick out almost two inches. So when you look down the side, you can see that the tire is well within that particular splash guard or rock guard. 
These, just being even with this, aren't offering any type of protection from throwing the stones out that can hit your side, any part of your body here, the front or the back, same way. So I would spend the money, at least get these for some added protection. These uh, are worth these are worth taking off the car and putting on something else. Um, they're nicely finished. There's carbon flash on the outside, matches the rest of the accents of the body. So I think it's a good investment to put those on. When I ordered the car, I ordered it with the uh, Arrow Delete. I've got the Z51 package, but um, I didn't want the uh, rear spoiler at all. And then when you click the uh, Arrow Delete, um, you don't get that front splitter either from the factory. But all the factory screws are there. There's 21 of them that you can release and put your own splitter on if you have a preference for something else. So that's what I did. I've got the ACS 1VM front splitter. I just want to show you what the car looks like without the splitter right now. And then the next uh, little clip I'll show you is with it installed. Okay, so the 1VM from ACS is going on. And here it is completed. The ACS splitter, the 1VM, is now installed, and what a difference this splitter makes to the appearance of this vehicle. Twenty-one screws, that's all you gotta drop. Everything's in place, everything lines up perfectly. Okay guys, this is the other part I wanted to show you again. This is a little spoiler that I had gotten months ago. And I was debating on whether to put it on the car. So I had a friend come over yesterday and I said, Hey, I just need your opinion on something, uh, on a spoiler for this car. He says, I don't like spoilers. He says, okay, just, just take a look at this piece. So I looked at it and he goes, well, that's not really a spoiler. It's more of an accent piece. So. I guess you can consider it that. I mean, um, it's got a little bit of a flair to it, but it's it's not really a lot, and I'll show you what it looks like on the car. I'd like to hear anybody's opinion that might see this and, and offer a comment on it. I'm still tossed about it, so um, I'd welcome any comment that you have about this this piece. last thing I want to show you guys today is an update on this waterfall. Uh, I think the last time I talked to you I was having a problem with this thing uh, installing properly. I never got an answer back from either company on uh, any tips or anything on how to install it. So I did a lot of trial and error and I ended up using, using Velcro and I placed it in this angular area right here on both sides and then 
pushed the waterfall on and it worked perfectly. Um, it clears the glove box door. There's no gaps with the speaker. Um, the speaker closes tight and it just looks great in the car. So two strips of Velcro and um, I think you're good to go if you decide on getting this type of waterfall. Okay guys, well I guess I'll talk to you next time.